In today's video, we're going to be talking about all things aliens in regards to the Miami Mall incident. We have some footage from inside of the Miami Mall, we have statements from witnesses, and I also have some statements from police officers. So this is going to be a wild video. Get ready, guys. And before we do get on in this video, please let me know what you think about this entire Miami Mall alien situation. Do you think it was aliens? Do you think it was maybe a cover-up for something else? Let me know because I actually filmed my first video on this subject seven hours ago and you guys have been blowing up the comment section. It was insane. If you didn't watch the first video I made on this subject, I'll link it down in the description below if you want to check it out. However, just to recap a little bit, I really focused on the sheer amount of police officers that were dispatched for this situation. There were about 70 to 100 police cars surrounding this mall and to me that's just weird. A lot of people in the comments of that video were saying things like they don't even dispatch that many police for shootings or they don't do it for really, you know, bad events. Why were there that many police officers for that? Some people were saying, you know, it was because kids were playing with fireworks and, you know, that's what a lot of the statements were released on the news. Well, if that was the case, don't you think like fire safety was in question, uh, fire hazards, but whatever. There were no fire trucks there. Not a single one. Just police cars, which is just crazy to me. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think was going on? Do you think maybe there was some something bigger going on? Do you think maybe it was a cover-up? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm genuinely curious. However, now we're going to go on into this video, and I really want to talk about this witness statement first. So I'm going to put this on the screen right now, and we'll listen to this thing full on through. It's pretty long, but I'll pause it here and there whenever I want to chime in on something. So here we go. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it to 100K. Here we go. My name is Fitz. I, um, I was there at the Bayside Mall with my family, um, and we all saw exactly what happened. Um, don't like pay attention to a lot of the videos that are out there. I feel like a lot of people are trying to use this for clout, um, but what happened we all saw what happened and you know it's pretty serious i uh you know it's been a few days but and you know our whole family's processing it but i think we've kind of like uh accepted that we were a part of this weird uh experience and moment um so basically what happened was i was there with my brother brian uh and my sister and my nephew we were looking for shoes uh for my nephew and then we see a whole crowd of people outside the store um, just running out in a direction. So, you know, as soon as we saw it, we, uh, we were like, oh, oh, shit, you know, what's going on? So we immediately ran out with our nephew and, um, and we picked him up and we ran out and we followed the crowd. Uh, and then about like a, a, a few seconds later, as soon as we started running, uh, my nephew, he's autistic. So he was pointing behind us and he was saying, Blanky which he'll usually say whenever he feels unsafe or scared. Um, and he was pointing behind us. So me and my brother, we look behind us and then we see these three, nine, 10 foot tall creatures. I'm not gonna say aliens. Uh, everyone keeps saying it's aliens. I'm not saying aliens because I don't know what it was. Uh, none of us really knew everyone. All of us stopped in our track, we, you know, a whole bunch of people were pointing at it. Uh, I mean, there were other people running, um, you know, there was a crowd. As soon as it made itself more apparent, um, it looked like it was glitching, not like a computer pixelation, but like a wavy glitch. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause it right there because, so this is very similar to what another witness said that I covered in the last video. He basically said something along the lines of, it seemed as if it was going in and out, as if like you could see through it. However, it glitching and stuff like that, this is new to me. This is the first time I'm hearing something like this. Um, and while we're getting into the subject of things and we're getting really into it, I got my tinfoil hat. So let's, let's continue here because this, we're getting into the good stuff now. And whatever maybe was covering them had you know, unveiled or whatever. Um, yeah, it looked like a glitch, man. Uh, it like a, a weird glitch in the matrix or whatever. And, um, and then you could see it in its full form, all three of them. And then, uh, it, you know, they were all black. You saw eyes, uh, and you could faintly see like 
like lips but um yeah i was about like tw 20 feet away um because obviously everybody gave it distance right and um you know they're tall um so we all just like looked at them they were just standing there and the thing that was a little bit weird well it was clearly like observing us it was sentient right like or whatever i mean i don't know but uh it was aware of us it looked at us the whole crowd and then as soon as it started walking with its big legs like kind of like it started like almost glitching again um we all ran um my brother like immediately said yo let's go he grabbed me by the shoulder we we bolted out of there and for anyone that's like saying you know where's the footage where's the footage yeah i know uh, i i don't have any footage and i'll explain why because like when i when i saw it i was in complete fear it's yep. it was something that I, I completely froze man i don't care if i sound like a bitch about it like i froze oh. and i don't care who you are i feel like when you're seeing something paranormal it's different than when you're seeing a fight yeah you'll probably want to record that and put on world star or whatever when you see something paranormal that's different because your reality you can't comprehend what you're seeing a fight, you kind of get it. Two people are fighting. You you can comprehend that. Something like this, none of us could comprehend. Your first instinct is like, it ain't to like take out your phone and start recording. Your first instinct is like, I've never seen this before. What is this? Is it gonna hurt me or my family? That's my that was my first number one priority. Um, so if you don't believe me, I get it. You know, it's fine. Like, it is silly. I'm, I'm sure that someone had footage from that night. If you did, please contact me just so like, you know, we, we actually have it. Um, so anyways, as soon, as soon as the creature started moving, we all just jetted out of there. We, we ran out the, the, the front doors. Um, and you know, obviously like we see a whole sea of cop cars, mad cop cars that were other ones were coming in. Um, and we ran with our nephew and then, you know, a, a cop stopped us. Um, you know, they took us a little in a, to a bit of a safer area behind, right, in, uh, behind the cars. Um, and then, um, and they asked us what we saw. Uh, and we, we told them what we saw. Um, you know, they wrote it down and th they asked everybody to check their phones. Not everybody, because there was mad people like running away too, right? They couldn't get everyone. Um, so I'm wondering if someone's going to post a video. Um. So I'm going to pause right there really quick couple things I want to talk about because number one thing that appears in my head and probably a lot of yours too is it's 2024 you know we're at a mall you know New Year's Day there's probably tons of people there now if something like this happens where a lot of people are claiming to have seen this you're telling me there's no footage of these creatures or aliens or whatever it may be you know everyone's on their phone at all times you know I know I am yeah, obviously, I do. This, social media is my job, so I'm, you know. But we're in Miami, big city, you know, very, very popular city. So you're telling me that someone wasn't on their phone recording, you know, even iPhone fives, iPhone sixes have great cameras, you know. We're that's like we're going back nine, eight, ten years. But 2024, you're telling me no one has a clear video of this. That's just the craziest part to me. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'm not giving it a fair shot. I do want to say like this guy does seem like a trustworthy guy. He's not really like stuttering. He's really just telling his story. That's it, you know. Um, but I don't know. Once again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about his story so far. Let me know what you think about everything else. We got a couple minutes left, so I'm just gonna let it roll through before I pop back in. But yeah, they they, they look through everyone's phone. I didn't record anything, so I was fine. None of us recorded anything, so we were basically free to go. Um, but in the distance, you could still see like, you know, I didn't see the being beings come out the door, right? Um, but you could see on the side of the building, uh, kind of like that clip that everyone's seeing, um, that it was slowly walking, and it was like it wasn't cloaking or glitching or whatever. It was walking. So I don't know if they it seemed more like it was an interdimensional thing. Someone's coming into our dimension or whatever, a bunch of them. And I think, you know, that 
it, it was just interesting the police response because there was a whole bunch of them. This ain't for no teenagers. No, this is this was for something way bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and it almost seemed like the cops had like a, a, a an already made strategy for it because they surrounded the be one of the beings with like all their police cars. They blared it up even louder because you could hear that it was louder. Um, maybe as an attempt to like distract it or let it know like, hey, you don't belong here, right? Um, and you know, they were trying to like slowly move alongside with it. Um, but I didn't see anything else after that because me and my family, we, we got out of there. We went into our car, we went home. Um, cause you know, we had, we had our nephew with us and we went and make sure like, you know, he was okay. Um, so I, you know, I, I was, I'm, I'm still kind of like processing everything. Like it's weird, but at the same time, I'm glad that we weren't alone in seeing it. Cause like, it was a whole bunch of us that saw it. Um, and I, it, it feels kind of like, you know, you're part of something like really big. Uh, but at the same time, it's confusing because like you want you want to kind of like show people like I wish I took a video, man, like because people are going to probably think I'm crazy. Right. Um, but yeah, you, I, I'm left with more questions. Like we were all kind <clears> of <throat> left with more questions than anything else. Um, yeah, I'm not saying that it's aliens. I know everybody's saying it's aliens. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is I saw something come in through like a weird glitchy, maybe a portal or whatever. Um, and it was like, they were, you know, they're pretty tall. Um, you could see some features of it. It was very, they were very dark, like, I, I, and, um, and shiny, but I can't tell if it was like a wet shiny or like a met metallic shiny. Mm. Um, and yeah, and you know, long limbs yeah i mean yeah long limbs long fingers um they were definitely humanoid in shape um and shadowy um but that maybe that shadowiness was like from a glitch or whatever like whatever cloaking maybe they had like fell off um but yeah it felt like something was coming into our world or whatever um, like a fucking Stranger Things episode, but uh, but it was it was crazy, man. Like, um, so that's about it for that video. Um, I don't know. Once again, let me know down below what you think. There's one thing that he said that I really want to touch up on, and I didn't cover it in the last video, but some of the comments were really touching up on it. Was when he said the sirens were just going on as like an attempt to maybe distract it. And I'm going to play just a couple of seconds of the footage of the police cars outside of the mall really quick. Everyone was saying to me, why are they just letting the police sirens run the entire time? It's so loud. Are they trying to distract something? Are they maybe trying to, you know, draw something away? Like what's exactly going on now? Once again, I'm not exactly sure, um, but let's continue. Uh, this is real footage of Miami Mall aliens. So I want to take a look at this. This is a really short video. It's about 30 seconds. So let's take a quick look at this. Bro, bro, bro. Everyone's going this way. Yo, yo, what is that? I see it all the way in the back, but you're telling me, this is my problem with these videos. You're telling me that no one has a clear, why does everyone also seem like in front of you, like they're not, am I true? Okay, someone's like crawling, but no one really seems as if they're like running away, like they're in some sort of like, like they're in any fear. Man, I don't know. Like to me, the whole shaky footage, uh, freaking the hell out kind of thing is, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe the people who did record footage, you know how like he said police officers were stopping people asking for footage. Maybe if people did have footage, they had to delete it or send it into the police. I'm not exactly sure um, how any of that would go. But man, listen, crazy stuff. But I want to cover some of the statements that I got from police officers or retired police officers. So I want to give a big shout out to Bruce Shepard. Uh, this is actually from a former Ohio National Guard. That was a military level response. I've seen body camera footage of mass shootings where three or four officers responded. That looked like the entire Dade County police force was responding. It makes no sense. And I really do agree. I understand the severity of the situation, but I still think it's overkill on how many police officers were there. This next comment was from Angie Swinney, and they said, Hey Jazz, last year here in Hoover, Alabama, we had a shooting in our Galera Mall. The most officers they sent was 10, two fire trucks and an ambulance. There were people running, yelling, screaming, and we had several that were trampled. There were two shot. It turned out that the two that were shot were only angry with each other. People heard pop pop and it was on. No way the cops knew it was just those two. Why didn't Birmingham get called in? Why so few? So many were injured. Miami had way too many cops on the scene. Much love from Alabama. See, I very, very much agree, Angie. I think it was overkill with how much police officers were there. Now, there's, obviously, there's a lot of statements and a lot of comments I did get that were saying things like, oh, well, it was um, reported as a shooting in the dispatch. Some people are saying it was just a fight in the dispatch. There's many different stories, and there always will be in certain situations, especially like this. A lot of the statements that came out from the news channels and articles were that it was in regards to fireworks. So I want to touch up on another comment that I got. This one was from Heather. They said, coming from Massachusetts where fireworks are highly illegal, never have I ever, as the saying goes, have I seen 60 police cruisers deployed to a scene of teenagers causing panic with fireworks. This magnitude of response, plus the lack of fire and rescue vehicles and air traffic, halted blows my mind. Even if it was an alien intrusion, I do not think the aliens were armed or trying to cause panic. That's a movie like Independence Day. I describe aliens as to more of a Star Trek type alien. Now, to me, maybe we'll never know. You know, maybe this is something that'll get brushed under the rug again. Like, you always hear alien sightings or alien, you know, things going on every couple of months. And then usually it hits like, you know, breaking news and then just disappears. Like it never happened. I fear that this may be one of those situations. I really hope it isn't because I would truly like to hear more from, you know, people that were there and stuff like that. So if you know anybody that was in the area, please let me know. I would love to maybe potentially interview somebody. If you have any more, you know, videos that you'd like to share for me, any more links, please comment them down below. I really appreciate it. If there's anything new that comes out about this entire situation, you know that I'll cover it. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the notification when I do drop these videos. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.